It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do a sky replacement effect and this is really really cool. This is becoming more popular in a lot of music videos and a lot of vlogs kind of but in a lot of short films and I decided to do a tutorial on this specifically and show you guys how to do it in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is what we're going to be doing in Final Cut Pro 10. So let me go ahead and show you guys right now. So that is the effect right there that we're going to be doing. It's pretty much a sky replacement. This right here and I'm going to show you guys how to do that with masking and using the zoom tool to kind of make the sky in the background quote unquote sky kind of move all right guys so this is the video right here it's very plain there's nothing on it right now right now it's currently set as a compound clip because i had to make everything into a compound clip so ignore that you're gonna have to do it in the end anyways but go inside the compound clip if you already have it i'm pretty sure you aren't but have your video ready and when you're ready to add the um, effect Currently, I have the sky right here, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and start adding some effects. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go into the effects. So we're going to go onto the effects here. We're going to go onto the all video and audio, and we're going to look up the uh, draw mask. Kind of like a similar tutorial that I did on my previous video. So what you want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and select everything on the outside besides the sky. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of don't get don't go too close to the edge as well. So I'm going to go with somewhere like this it would be good. Also, if there's curves, you can, of course, add some curves if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and change the view to like 25% or 50% and go ahead and select that. So now we have this selected. So I'm going to go back to fit and then we should have something like this. I know it looks really weird. So if you get this weird, really weird black thing, change it to original so you guys can see the view here or the sky. So once you've done that, what you want to go ahead and do is just track it. So if you go to the transforms and the control points, first go into the transforms and add a position keyframe. So this little icon there and go to the control points and add a keyframe there as well. So you can just hide that and move a frame over. So you're going to be moving frame by frame and make sure that the points do not touch the sky or you're going to be, you know, into you're going to be having some trouble. So move the points as you as you may. And uh, so you know something like this would be great so just go frame by frame guys so I finished adding the points to the video here and what you want to go ahead and do is make a copy of it I already did that but press command C and command V at the very end of the clip drag that on the bottom of it and they should be the same length one of them will have the um, points added so just go to the effects and delete them or you could have done it beforehand that too works so you're gonna have one on the top video here with the points added and one without so be sure to change the view in the draw mask effects to composite so we can see what we're doing here we're gonna go to the bottom clip and we're gonna go ahead and add an effect called luma keyer in the effects browser go ahead and drag that onto the clip and you're gonna have this really weird outline and that's what you want that that means that it's working so go to the effects in the luma keyer in the bottom clip once you have it selected we're gonna go ahead and just move this to the left to get rid of it so from here you want to go ahead and just kind of move over to where you want it to start i want it to start like about here so I'm going to go ahead and add a keyframe. So click this little plus icon there and then kind of go towards the end from here. What you want to go ahead and do is drag this outwards and you can see that the sky is starting to change. Drag this outwards as well. So the bottom one there and you want to make sure that the sky is completely uh, not visible. So black. Once you've done that, what you want to go ahead and do is import a picture. Go ahead and select the picture. I just got this one from Google. It's a galaxy picture. Drag that on the very bottom of the clip and put it to the very bottom of them and drag them out so they fit. So currently, you can see how the effect is looking. However, we have some black bars. The resolution is not the same. So we're going to make this bigger. So go to the transform tool here. I'm going to get rid of this here and I'm going to go ahead and make this kind of bigger. You're going to have this effect currently going on, which looks pretty good if you were to ask me. So that's the effect right there. It just looks boring right now. So we're going to go ahead and just tweak it a little bit. So we're going to go on to the transform button once more and you're going to have these little tools at the top left. So wherever you want to change it to. So before it starts, so like right here, I'm going to go ahead and click on the transform again. Click on this little add keyframe button and go kind of 
towards the end to wherever you want it to stop. I'm going to add another keyframe. And from here, this is what you want to go ahead and change maybe 25%. And maybe you want to make it a little bit bigger and maybe you want to rotate it just a little bit and move it like to the left. So now if we go back and we go ahead and change this and we push play, this is the effect that we will have currently. So as you can see, that looks pretty cool. Or you can have it go the other direction as well. So you will see that there are some things that are missing, you know, like this right here and kind of part of the rim there. That's, a, that's a, always an easy fix. So this is what it will look like once you have it all finished. Miss you so much. So if you found this video helpful in any way, please leave a like. That will be much appreciated. Comment down what you guys want to see next on my next video. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.